Hi everyone, my name is Amy Reckhammer and I'll be discussing how user trust in machine learning models is impacted when multiple indicators of model performance are presented. This is work that I did with Ming Yin at Purdue University. Machine learning has become ubiquitous. Today, with the use of machine learning, we are solving problems from critical societal challenges to decision making in everyday life. As the population of those regularly exposed to machine learning expands, the question of which factors impact end users' trust in these models has been a topic of interest. Prior literature has found that the accuracy of a model, both in terms of a stated accuracy on some held out data and its observed accuracy in practice, along with the confidence that a model associates with its predictions, are factors impacting users' trust in the model's decisions. What remains underexplored, however, is what impact multiple performance indicators together would have on people's trust in these models. To fill in this gap, we designed and conducted a randomized behavioral experiment with subjects recruited from Amazon Mechanical Turk to determine how users' trust in machine learning is impacted by the model's stated accuracy and its confidence before the model's accuracy is observed in practice, and how all three performance indicators impact users' trust after the model's accuracy is observed in practice. In this experiment, we asked subjects to complete a sequence of tasks on predicting the outcome of speed dating events with the help of a pre-trained machine learning model. Before working on any tasks, the subjects were told the machine learning model's stated accuracy on a large set of held out data. Next, the subjects completed 20 prediction tasks in phase one. For each task, the subject was presented with a profile of a participant and their date in a speed dating event. We asked our subjects to first review the profile and then make their own prediction of whether or not the participant in the profile would want to see the date again. Next, the subject was shown a machine learning model's prediction for the task, along with a confidence score between 0 and 1, representing how confidently the model believed its prediction to be correct. The subject was then asked to make a final prediction. Lastly, before moving on to the next task, the subject indicated their belief in the model's prediction being correct as a number between 0 and 1. Once these tasks were completed, subjects were told both the model's accuracy and their own accuracy in phase one. Afterwards, subjects were asked to complete an additional 20 tasks in phase two. Finally, subjects were asked to take an exit survey where they provided their self-reported trust in the model's predictions for both phase one and phase two individually. We considered a total of eight experimental treatments with a two by two by two design along three factors, each having two levels the level of confidence that the model associated with its predictions, the model's stated accuracy on held out data, and the model's observed accuracy on the phase one tasks. To minimize differences across treatments, subjects in all eight treatments saw the same 40 tasks. And in treatments that had the same observed accuracy, the models gave the same binary predictions in phase one. In phase two, the models for all eight treatments gave the same binary predictions. We used four different measures to quantify the subject's trust in the machine learning model, and we computed the values of these measures separately for each phase. Subject's belief in model accuracy, representing on average how much belief they had in the model's predictions being correct. Agreement fraction, representing how often the subject's final prediction agreed with the models. Switch fraction, representing how often the subject initially disagreed with the model, but switched their final prediction to agree with the models. And self-reported trust, which is the level of trust that the subject self-reported to have at the end of the experiment. We start with the question of how users trust in machine learning is impacted by the model's stated accuracy and its confidence before the model's accuracy is observed in practice. We consider the model's stated accuracy and confidence level as our independent variables and the four trust measures detailed in the previous slide as our dependent variables. To analyze the effects of our independent variables on the four trust measures, we calculated Cohen's D effect sizes along with 95% bootstrap confidence intervals for each trust measure between subjects assigned to different levels of a given independent variable. We interpret the significance of confidence interval based on where it falls in relation to zero. For example, 
If the full range of the interval is greater than zero, then that implies that trust was significantly greater for subjects in treatments with the high performance indicator, such as high confidence. Looking at the effect of confidence in phase one, the results suggest that before observing a machine learning model's accuracy in practice, people believe that a model with a high confidence score is more accurate, but we found no other significant effect on the other three measures of trust. In contrast, for the effect of stated accuracy in phase one, we find that people not only believe that a model with a high stated accuracy is more accurate, but they follow its predictions more frequently and they self-report to have greater trust in it. We now examine our data from phase two to understand how lay people's trust in a machine learning model is affected by the model's stated accuracy, observed accuracy, and model confidence after observing the model's accuracy in practice. Our phase one analysis method was repeated, this time with observed accuracy as an additional independent variable to consider. Consistent with phase one, we found that subjects still tended to believe that models producing higher levels of confidence are more likely to be correct in phase two, but we found no evidence that model confidence has any impact on the other three trust measures. On the other hand, higher stated accuracy was found to lead to higher belief in model accuracy, agreement fraction, and switch fraction, while a higher observed accuracy led to increases in all four trust measures. Altogether, while the level of confidence of the model had the greatest impact on subjects' belief in the model's accuracy, observed accuracy of the model had the greatest impact on the other three trust measures. Overall, our results suggest that the model confidence and model accuracy play different roles in influencing people's trust in a machine learning model. Model confidence mostly influences people's belief in the model's accuracy but the model's stated accuracy and observed accuracy consistently impact how much people think they trust a model and how frequently they actually follow a model. We conjecture that this may be because when both accuracy and confidence are presented, people consider accuracy as a fact, but deem confidence as only an estimate. These findings indicate the potential need of helping lay people better understand the uncertainty inherent in performance calculations and calibration estimation based on a small set of predictions, such as was the case with observed accuracy in our experiment. It is critical for people to see the value of continued use of a calibrated confidence score to adjust their trust in a machine learning model, even after observing a very high or very low accuracy of the model in practice. Thank you for listening to my talk. Please check out the full paper in the CHI 2022 proceedings for more information.